shell and woven through my life. In December 2018. <sighs> so, tomorrow is our um, Christmas program at church. And um, I have been dancing. Normally, I sing. Um, I haven't really even been doing that. Um, just some doctor stuff, you know, happened. And yes, yes. Um, I might even be a day or so behind. I don't even know. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure where the days are going. So, um, but I'm going to try to keep it real. So, um, I joined dance because I wanted to, um, you know, I felt really disconnected from my body and I was hoping that dance would help me put that kind of back together and get kind of into the new me and get comfortable with using my body again um, for more rigorous activity. Uh, although it won't be things uh, that I used to do. Uh, I knew dance would be difficult, you know. My stepdad asked me if I thought that like dance was harder than I thought. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's not harder than I thought. I've, I've been in dance before. I've done ballet before. It's not easy. Um, but I am nowhere near as strong as I like to think I am, you know, and I'm nowhere near the fitness level that I was prior to my surgery. And, um, even right after my surgery, you know, my fitness level has dropped. And while I've been working really hard for the past, you know, two years to get fit again, like things keep happening and, um, you know, and so it's, it's a slow process. Um, and right now I'm in physical therapy and that has helped so much with the process and going to the dance classes and the stretching. And, but like today we had a four hour rehearsal. I didn't get a chance to get stretched and everything beforehand. So I went in there with like, my neck is hurting like all the way down this left side, his left side of seizures of next week are going to be like off the chain. So I am uh, very much expecting um that to be the case so you know um but i'm i'm going to do it because i've made the commitment and i feel like um you know just the challenge of it is it's asking a lot of my body and for the next couple days i don't think i'm really going to be able to do much of anything but uh, I, I'm enjoying the challenge and the physical challenge of, on my body and hopefully, um, it will, um, it will turn out well and I won't be the reason if anything happens that, you know, that the Christmas program looked terrible at church. I don't want it to be like it was Michelle's fault. That this happened and Michelle could have fixed it by doing such and such. Uh, I would much rather it be like, um, <laughs> you know, let's get this done and Michelle's hiding in the car. I mean, because like I, I heard that like they want you to stay for like pictures and stuff. But I'm going to be honest with you. I have a headache my body hurts, and I've got to do what I did today three times with costume changes in and out um, with pants that are falling down. My pants fell down halfway across the stage today, so, like, life is crazy. I'm going to get through this dance, though, and then um, I'm, I'm going to seriously reconsider when I make more long-term decisions about doing something. I committed myself to dance, and so even though it is difficult, and I'm not a very good dancer, I'm going to stick it out, and I'm going to try my best and give it 100%, and right now my whole body is screaming, plus my head, and I'm just like, I can't help any of you things, so I'm hoping that ibuprofen kicks in soon. <laughs> because I'm hurting so bad, but, you know, that is that's dance and so uh, another thing you know that I've probably mentioned is I like ministry hopping I like looking and seeing what the other ministries do so that I have a better understanding as a ministry leader of what other ministry leaders jobs are 
and what they have to deal with because it's very easy to be myopic and see what my problems are but you know when I need so and so to do something well I have to remember so and so is also a leader and they also have a set of problems and so um coming up under someone um and just kind of uh watching is um usually I, I mean this is this is the most difficult. I've done some media. I've been in the children's, you know, I've been in the praise team. I've uh you know, so I've I've done a few things and then plus, you know, my own ministry, not my own, but you know, the ministry that I'm in at a church that I lead and and um like, you know, dance is very demanding physically and not in the way that what I consider physically demanding you know like for for what I do physically demanding is I have to be able to sit with a family for you know 16 hours and deal with it you know and that is very physically demanding because it is and it's emotionally demanding whereas this to me is like physical torture and and you know uh, and no emotional outlet at all for me um I, I think that's one of the things is that I don't feel connected to dance and so it feels like I'm just doing stuff I, you know I feel like a mime to music and it's not really you know sp- speaking to me because I'm so busy trying to learn these steps that I can't enjoy learning um you know I I can't enjoy listening to the music I can't enjoy you know being it I mean because I just have to think you know one two three four five six seven eight you know one two three four five six seven eight one two three or one two three one two three one two three this that that this that that turn here chasse you know and so (sighs) dance for me is, is I'm going to stick it out though and you know what this is just the beginning uh this is the first um, major thing that I've done, I really only plan on doing one more, and then, um, that's that, you know, and, um, hopefully by then I will have gained a new perspective on, um, on the dance ministry and on dancing in general, you know, um, and what it takes to be a dancer, because I'm, I'm, I am very comfortable right now in this part of my This time in my life, putting it on video, writing it in a book, and signing my name on it, I am not a dancer. And that's okay. I'm just going to try to learn to enjoy it more and get less parts, maybe. You know, and, and that's it. So, that's kind of been my experience of the day. I'm going to go because I've got to get up at like... 4.30 4.30 in the morning so that I have the time to drink coffee and get ready. Because <laughs> it ain't going to work no other way. So, I'm Michelle Michelle. This has been my life. <laughs>